Namaste to everyone. My name is Sanya Khanam. I am studying in class 10 in Sri Gnana Jyoti School. Today, let us learn a concept from class 10 science test book. How do organisms reproduce? Come, let us explore into it. Dear friends, we know that the plant is also an organism. We know that the reproductive part of a plant is a flower. There is a beautiful hibiscus flower in my hand. Flower exists in varieties of colors. I have a red hibiscus flower in my hand. Come, let us know the parts of a hibiscus flower. Dear friends, you can see that some flowers and some birds are bathed in this plant. Now, let me introduce the parts of a hibiscus flower. Starting from pedicel, these are the epicalyx, these are the calyx, these are beautiful petals. The pollen tube, the stamen, the stigma. The reproductive parts of angiosperms are located in the flower. The different parts of a flower are sepals, petals, stamens and pistil are the reproductive parts of a flower. The flower may be unisexual whether stamens or pistil or bisexual when it contains both stamen and pistil. Stamen is the male reproductive part and it produces pollen grains that are yellowish in color. Pistil is present in the center of a flower and it is the main reproductive part. Come, let us know the dissection of a hibiscus flower. Starting from the pedicel, I am cutting off the pedicel from a flower. I am keeping it aside. These tiny parts are known as epicalyx. I am separating from a flower. This green color part is known as calyx. These are the petals. Generally, hibiscus flower have five petals. I am removing from the flower. The stigma, the stamen, the pollen tube and the ovary. Now, let us cut it. After dissection, we can observe that there is a ovary and the style. Now, I am separating the style. This is the style of a flower. And this is the ovary and this is the style. Finally, let us know the parts of a hibiscus flower. The pedicel, the apicalyx, the calyx, or sepals. The red color one are the petals. The stamen, the stigma, the pollen tube, style and the ovary. Thank you.